So today we're going to introduce Bluetooth basics, wireless made easy. So I believe that does everybody have like experience interact with Bluetooth or not really? No, really. In what? Uh, interact with Bluetooth. Like, have you used a Bluetooth earphone or any yeah. speaker? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I have, I have to use it in my car. <laughs> oh, yeah. The CarPlay. Yes. Mm -hmm. But now they have like Apple CarPlay, which is like better than normal Bluetooth. So let's get started. First introduction, like I'm gonna explain a brief, what is a Bluetooth? I mean, that's number two, sorry. <laughs> and then number three, why use Bluetooth? And number four, Bluetooth devices. Number five, connecting your device, which is, I think is the most interesting because it's teaching how do, how do we do it. And then number six is a video demo of how, how to do it. So first introduction, yeah, today we will explore how Bluetooth works and how you can use it in your day-to-day -day life. Whether that is by connecting a phone to a speaker or using wireless headphones. We will also be guiding you through the process of connecting your device via Bluetooth without the ha hassle of dealing with wires. What is Bluetooth? Bluetooth is a wire wireless technology that allows devices to connect and share information without the use of cord and cables. It is mainly used for connecting phone, speakers, ear, hearing aids, and headphones. It makes life much more convenient and make, makes tasks much easier. Other than that, I think you can also connect Bluetooth with your phone and your like your Mac and your iPad as like the Apple series. You can use Bluetooth in everywhere. Like that just like the wireless connection is like a radio and a radar and they just shoot like wave that match each other, which make connection wirelessly. A Bluetooth is a very helpful tool because it allows you to connect device wirelessly so you can avoid the wire wires and clutter that comes with it. It's not only good for your personal device, but Bluetooth also works with most cars of hand free calling and navigation and for music. So like I just personally don't really like to wear wire headphones because like while I'm like working or like doing something I always like get trip or I get tangled up on somewhere and just a lot of chaos I don't not a big fan of like always bring like USB and now they have USB-C so like I don't want to bring that much cable like to car or to anywhere then Bluetooth is your best choice so let's see here house and accessibility device blues Bluetooth hearing aids blood like it can yeah blood pet pressure monitor glucose meters smart thermometers medication reminder device all the like a lot of tech technology right now use bluetooth so smartphones tablets smart watches bluetooth keyboard bluetooth stylus like apple pencil for example for audio it's like wireless headphones earbuds um, bluetooth speakers car audio system and smart tvs yes like while you use your screen mirroring on your TV, that's also Bluetooth. So Bluetooth devices like fitness device, fitness tracker, smart scales, heart rating monitor, smart gym equipment, sleep monitor, office tech, also, I'm, I mean like wireless printer, yeah. So although, I mean like, is there still, did you guys still use wire printer right now or? So that's still a thing because all the printer I deal with are wireless right now. And then presentation remotes, project, a projector, wireless headset and microphones. Home device is like smartphones hub, smart lights and plugs, smart locks, security camera. Yeah. Everything is like mostly wireless stuff are Bluetooth. Connecting Bluetooth devices. When you connect then your Bluetooth device, you must first go to your phone setting and locate the Bluetooth setting. Then make sure your the device you are connecting is charged it and on. If the device is new, it should come with instruction how to connect that device. So this is a tab of like Apple Bluetooth. If you use Android, this might be a slightly different, but it always look like this sign, like it's blue. Yes, because it's Bluetooth. And then it's like having this sign. If you see this sign, you know, it's like Bluetooth. On your device, like whatever you bought, like a speaker, it also probably have like this sign, like a button like that to open it and to connect. Normally, if it's a Bluetooth device, like a Bluetooth 
like a speaker, it will come with an instruction book about how to connect it. But we're going to go over like the basic way to connect your phone with any Bluetooth device over here. So connecting Bluetooth device. Once you have both devices on you, we'll make sure Bluetooth is turned on on your phone or laptop. An example of a device can connecting is AirBuds. On Air AirBuds, it should have a button to press and hold in order to connect. And you see, if you open it and then connect it, it will shine white, white over there. Maybe it's kind of hard to see, but after you connect it, um, everybody, the phone close to that Bluetooth will start having this tab. And then if you could press connect on whatever phone that is, they will automatically connect with that thing. And you don't have to do it again anymore because it just have a sort of link every time this AirBuds open, it connect to that one phone. Unless you disconnect it manually, it will always automatically connect it. Connecting Bluetooth device. Mm, if you're connecting to AirPods, the device itself, and the name of the device should appear on your screen when you try connecting them. When that appears, you click connect and you're all set to listen music or watch shows. Just like what I said, just need one button, it's all done. No need to like further worry. Bluetooth connection range. Bluetooth is ma ma mainly for short distance, making it good for connecting your phone to things like speaker and headphones. The furthest distance is typically around 30 feet and the further it gets, the connection get weaker or disconnected completely. Because using waves, if there is something in the middle, it's probably not as good as very close. So it, it's understandable. Um... Common issues. Occasionally, you might have issues with Bluetooth. So if your device doesn't connect properly, is it usually an easy fix? By turning both devices being connected on and off will likely solve the issue. Keeping your device's software updated and prevent connection issue in the future. In my opinion, follow the instruction. If the instruction doesn't work, yeah, close it. Like that just always work <laughs> so that's like the always works technology if you have any more problem on connecting it we can talk about it in like our breakout room to how to solve this problem with you so in conclusion bluetooth is a simple and very helpful tool that makes connection your that makes connecting your dev device that much easier with the need for any wires and cable although you are not attached attach it with a cable it is important not to keep both devices as far from each other so the connection is the best.